Welcome back to Take Action is everybody. David Schuster here. That music means it is time for social media with Dr. Digipol on Twitter, Dr. Alan Rosenblatt. Alan, welcome to the program. Take it away, my friend. How are you, David? How's it going today? Good. Great to have you on board. Great to be here. Uh, so I uh, wanted to talk uh, quickly about the uh, the State of the Union, as you mentioned. Uh, there was some uh, some rumbling afoot that uh, they were, the Republicans were going to uh, tweet uh, during the uh, the, the uh, speech using the hashtag not serious uh, in criticism of Obama and his uh, policy proposals. Uh, First of all, aside from the fact that I started the not serious tag uh, a few months ago attacking the Republicans for not being serious because um, they kept claiming the president was not being serious. And I, and I really launched that. I felt a little ownership there. Uh, we were, <laughs> uh, it really became kind of a problem because, first of all, uh, we organized a... Uh, uh, sort of a denial of hashtag campaign, and the, if you look at the Twitter stream for the not serious hashtag, aside from a Carl Rove tweet that got a lot of retweets, it was really dominated by neutral and left-leaning uh, comments. So it was a, a, a big collapse in that respect. And the truth of the matter is, the speech was pretty serious, mm -hmm. and uh, it's hard not to, uh, unless you're predisposed to dismiss it as many of the those on the right are, it's pretty hard to look at, listen to it and say it was not serious because it really was. Now, as far as today goes, um, I, I wanted to, uh, there's a new study that's come out recently uh, from, I believe, uh, uh, University of Georgia called Birds of a Feather Tweet Together, Integrating Network and Content Analysis to Examine Cross-Ideology Exposure on Twitter. Now, I brought in a, a guest for us uh, to talk to today. His name is uh, Chris Mascaro. He is a, 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 a doctoral student at Drexel University who is sitting on top of a data set of tens of millions of tweets from the 2012 electoral cycle and has been digging deeply into how people are tweeting uh, with very recent data, and so I couldn't think of anybody better to uh, uh, to, to to rip this study apart than uh, uh, than Chris. So welcome, Chris. Well, it's good to be here, Alan. It's uh, good to talk to you too, David. Um, Chris, yeah. great to have you on board. A little further about the not serious hashtag before we move on. I was really disappointed with the complete lack of, of utilization of the hashtag. There was only I was collecting it using this uh, software that we have, and there were only a few thousand tweets throughout the whole. Night. So overall, it was a pretty limited um, utilization compared yeah. to what I was thinking. I'm sure. I'm sure a good chunk of those tweets were me. Yeah, they were actually. <laughs> I looked at that this morning. Uh, you know, I. Uh... Uh, you know, whenever I get wind of these uh, of these uh, hashtag efforts, uh, I love to you know uh, jump into action very quickly and yeah. mobilize people. And uh, you know, uh, our understanding is that it only takes about ten people to steal the direction of a hashtag, mm -hmm. and uh, that's really key. 